I'm at the Google website. The google.com website is a URL, Universal Resource Locator. That's what every website is. You'll notice that google.com, .com actually stands for commercial business. Sometimes a URL will have .gov, which is government, .edu, which is education. When I go on the internet, I need to use a browser. I'm using the Chrome browser. On your iPad, you have the Safari browser and you have your Chrome browser. Many people use the Google website. Google probably knows more about you than you think. Google was launched in 1998 and it was their very first product. Google is a huge database. It's all based on an algorithm. We've used the word algorithm before when we've learned how to do coding, but an algorithm basically means I type in different words and it will search and find all the different databases in the huge network of where everything is located. An algorithm is always changing. It makes a big difference how you search. So we're gonna be doing an invention project. I'm gonna type in blue jeans, just to show you. And you can see all the different suggestions that show up. If I add the word fax to it, even though I spelled it incorrectly, you can see there's still things that show up. When I press search, it'll have blue jeans, pictures of blue jeans, and it goes down and, and then it starts to kind of change the search. Now if I go back here to the top and in front of blue, I'm gonna tap in front of blue and make the quotation marks and then put them around blue jean facts and have the exact phrase, this is one way I can get a better results. Okay, now everything that shows up has to do with blue jean facts. If I wanna search a specific website, I can do a site specific fact. I type in site, and then I put the colon, and I'm gonna just type in Levi Strauss. You can see I've already done this, levistrauss.com. So first of all, you're gonna to wanna to know what website it is, and then I'm gonna put blue jeans because Levi Strauss is famous for blue jeans. And when I press search, everything that shows up will only be about Levi's. I have a couple websites I want you to refer to instead of just going to Google. The first one is wonderopolis.org. There's all sorts of great things in here. And if you were in um, Ms. Taubert's class last year, she used Wonderopolis too. So I'm just gonna type in blue jeans and see what comes up. Press search. When I scroll down, you can already see it's matching anything that matches the word blue or jeans. So I have who invented blue jeans, what makes blue jeans blue, all these different things that match blue. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and press on it. And you can see that there's quite a bit of information. It's really neat on this website too because it highlights important words. Now I'm at the dexters.com website. So if we're looking at inventions, we wanna go to either history or biography. So I'm gonna press on biography. If you remember, I've been looking at blue jeans. So I'm just gonna look through here and towards the bottom, we have Levi Strauss. So I'm gonna go ahead and press on Levi Strauss now, if you're using this website, you're going to want to make sure and add it to your invention fact sheet so that we know where you came, where you found all your resources. So there's a lot of information here that might be helpful to you. Even tells you that his birth name was Loeb, but he went with by Levi because it was so hard to say. Levi gave a lot of his money to charity to help out poor people and orphans, so that's all good information. This website might look familiar. This is called Kittle. Kittle is a safe search engine for kids from Google. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in blue jeans. And you can see right at the top, it says there's a page named blue jeans on Kittle the Encyclopedia. Who made America? Here's something about Levi Strauss and you can see it also has this website, um, www.pbs.org. That is um, a website you use a lot when you play different games like Wild Kratts. If I keep looking down, look, there's Wonderopolis. We have all sorts of things here that would be appropriate. Usually the things that are on the very top are the best ones to use. No matter if you use this website, you're gonna have to remember to add it to your website list on your fact sheet. So here is a, some good information. You can see that Levi Strauss was born in 1829 in Bavarian, Bavaria. 
and he died in 1902 in San Francisco.